Hi there! After this lesson, you should be able to solve two-step equations using the properties of equality. Let's first take a look at parts of an equation. Any number, variable, or combination of both separated by a plus sign is called a term. Here, you will see we have two terms. I do not include the plus sign when identifying terms. If you see a number or a letter in front of a variable, such as this two, it is called a coefficient. A coefficient is a number in front of a variable that acts as a factor in a term. If a term is simply a number or a letter that stands on its own, such as this four here, it is called a constant. Something that is constant remains unchanging. We call it a constant because there is nothing affecting its value, such as a variable through multiplication or division. Therefore, its value will remain steady or constant. Before looking at an example, we must understand the properties of equality. Specifically, we use the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division properties of equality. These say that manipulating both sides of an equation in the same way results in an equivalent equation. Take a second to pause the video and look at these properties. The best way to understand this is to look at an example. We have the equation 8 plus 2 equal to 10. We understand this equation to be true. Let's use the addition property of equality, which says that if we add the same number to both sides of the equation, the equation will still give us a true statement. So, let's say we add 5 to both sides of the equation. The dotted line just helps me keep the right and left sides separate. 8 plus 2 it's plus 5 is equal to 15 on the left-hand side, and 10 plus 5 equals 15 on the right-hand side. Since 15 equals 15, we still have a true statement. The same goes for any property of equality. Let's multiply by 3 on both sides of the equation. Focusing on the left-hand side, 8 plus 2 times 3 is equal to 30. On the right-hand side, 10 times 3 is also equal to 30. Again, we have a true statement. We can manipulate this equation all day as long as we stick to these properties of equality. So let's go ahead and take a look at solving two-step equations. Two-step equations are equations that take two steps to solve. To solve this equation means to isolate the variable, or in other words, we want to get x all by itself on its own side of the equation. Again, I like to draw a dotted line to keep the left and the right side of the equation separate. To get x alone on the left-hand side of the equation, we must get rid of the 4 and the 2. If we could do that, then x would be isolated or all by itself. To achieve this, we use the properties of equality. We must ask ourselves, how is each number related to x? So this 4 that we are trying to get rid of, what operation can be assigned to it as we see it? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division? Well, if we rewrite this equation using the commutative property, we see that we are adding 4 in this equation. To get rid of it, we will use the inverse operation of addition and subtract 4. I must use the subtraction property of equality and subtract 4 from both sides. 4 minus 4 on the left-hand side leaves me with 0. Since adding 0 does not change the value of my equation on the left-hand side, I will just cross them out and show that only 2x is left. On the right-hand side, 10 minus 4 is equal to 6. Don't forget to bring down that equal sign. Now we must focus on getting rid of the 2. Again, what operation can be assigned to the 2 in relation to our variable? Well, 2 is being multiplied by x. In order to get rid of it, we must use the inverse of multiplication and divide by 2. And to keep our equation equal, we divide by 2 on both sides. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 
1 over 1. We can write this as just 1x or simply x. Don't forget the equal sign. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. We now see that x is equal to 3. We can check our answer by replacing x with 3 in the original equation and solving. 2 times 3 is 6. 4 plus 6 is equal to 10. We end up with a true statement, which means we were correct. x does equal 3. Let's take a look at another example. In order to isolate x, we must get rid of the 3 and the 1. First, let's ask ourselves, how is the number 1 related to x? Since the 1 is being subtracted, I will add 1. I must use the addition property of equality and add 1 to both sides. If I subtract 1 and then add 1 in an equation, I've just undone what I was trying to do and I'm left with 0. I show this by crossing them out and bringing down what is left, or the x over 3. Adding 1 to 14 on the right hand side is equal to 15. Okay, now to get rid of the 3. I am currently dividing by 3, and since the inverse of division is multiplication, I will multiply by 3 on both sides of the equation, using the multiplication property of equality. I like to write this as a fraction so that I can easily multiply the numerator and the denominators. Doing so, I get 3x over 3, and on the right hand side, 15 times 3 is equal to 45. Okay, now we just simplify. On the left, 3 over 3 reduces to 1 over 1, or 1x. I can write this as just x. x is equal to 45. I've solved my equation to see that x is equal to 45. Great job! You'll want to make note that in both of our examples we took care of the constant first and the coefficient second. This is because when we manipulate an equation, we must manipulate the entire side of the equation. If instead we would have multiplied by 3 first in the last example, we would have multiplied 3 by the fraction and the 1. This is possible, but it makes our equation unnecessarily messy. Therefore, as a general rule of thumb, we will try to get rid of the constant first and the coefficient second. Keeping that in mind, try a couple of examples on your own. Remember to isolate x using the properties of equality by first getting rid of the constant and then the coefficient. Okay, let's look at the first problem. Since the constant of 2 is being subtracted, I will use the addition property of equality and add 2 to both sides. Subtracting 2 and then adding 2 on the left leaves me with 0, and I am left with 9x on the left hand side. 16 plus 2 on the right equals 18. Lastly, I will take care of the coefficient of 9. I see 9 is being multiplied by x, so I will use the division property of equality and divide both sides by 9. On the left, I get 1x, written as just x, and 18 divided by 9 is equal to 2. x equals 2. In part b, the constant is 5. I will use the subtraction property of equality and subtract 5 from both sides of the equation, leaving me with 12 on the left and negative x over 2 on the right. And si since the expression on the right is negative, I will have to take care of that, as x cannot be negative in our final answer. You'll see I brought down the negative and assigned it to the 2. Now it is easy for me to use the multiplication of property of equality and multiply by negative 2 on both sides of the equation. Negative 2 times 12 is equal to negative 24 on the left. On the right, the negative 2's will reduce to 1, leaving me with just x on the right hand side. I see that negative 24 is equal to x. Great! Mm -hmm.